Yes, how is it going? A lot of terrible things happening all around the world and due to this a lot of states, countries have been locked down. Here in India, uh, yesterday the government announced two states lockdown. I don't know how many states uh, are in the queue. May this thing end soon. It's really terrible. Okay. Uh, so today's topic is uh, how to create your own map function. We have a high order function in our Swift, you know, where we traverses the elements of a collection and we do something with that within a closure. So, for example, where array and we have an array of integers, for example, okay, and we can perform anything like doubling this array or doing something with this array. And it will return an array of a generic which is actually an array of an integer in this case so let's say map and uh, within that closure let's say I'm writing dollar zero plus one so probably it will uh, increment each and every element within that array so if we print that the new array basically returned after a map function and we run this application then you'll see that each and every element is incremented by one so this is the map function provided by apple in its library but what if we want to write the map function ourselves i've been asked this question uh, in some of the interviews and sometimes you know in that state of mind it's very difficult to actually write the logic on paper so it i think it would help you in interviews you may encounter this as well so let's try to write this function and i will name that function as my map so first things first i just need to create an extension of collection because the map function actually runs on sequences and collection and collection is a protocol so you can see collection is a protocol which uh, actually conforms to sequence and you can just go inside sequence and that is a protocol as well which actually uh, use iterator protocol as an associated type and we do have custom elements so it do have that element as associated type as well okay so extension of collection is done and uh, let's write func my map so this is my custom map and like this now after writing this extension if i just try to call my map so it's available uh, for my array uh, so basically it is available for all the collection types now the implementation comes so what we have to do so as we can see that in an array if we write map so you can see the logic that it actually returns a array of generics and it has a parameter as a closure with a transform label which has an int and which throws a t so basically which takes something as an int because int is int is because of this array uh, let's say if I make an array of let's say if I make an array 2 or maybe char array or string array then it will actually given give will give an parameter of closure here as string so if, let's see that string array dot map so here we get to see string here so that is actually depends on what our array is or the data of our array is uh, so we have to make this as per the current map function implemented in the default ios application default ios framework okay let's start 
so first of all as we know it is generic I will write T here and we do have a transform label now here we'll write this as element and it will return again a T and finally the complete function will return a T so it's somewhat similar to this where we have a transform block and the closure accepts an in uh, element so element is like whatever the array is made of the type of the array and it throws a t it just returns a t here so t is something which is made of what the generic is so array is integer so we believe that uh, if we pass the array of integers then it will return an array of integers in the result okay moving forward we have to make a variable here results or anything like that and in that variable we will that's an array of generic array of t now we have to run a for loop for element in self and self is the array for which we are traversing for so this array each and every element of that array uh, has a closure mm -hmm. sorry this should be empty so each and every element of an array has a closure uh, that should be appended to the results so if you write results dot append and uh, just execute the block transform element so whatever the element is coming within an array it will be actually processed in the callback block the transform block and below we will just return the array I think that's it now if I try to write array dot my map so you can see that we have actually uh, able to get the exactly same thing what map is offering so here if I write let's delete the apples default map function and let's try with our map function dollar zero plus one and see what happens what is the output so the output is the same let's try like multiplying with two Oh, sorry I haven't printed that that should be printed and that is not now you'll see if I write array dot my map multiplied by 2 the array is multiplied by 2 2 4 6 8 10 12 and the array was 1 2 3 4 5 6 so basically you are able to provide your custom implementation uh, using your custom my map you can either write you can either save this in an array new array or a copy array you can say that and that new array is also will be the array of integers now for strings we can perform the same thing whatever we like to so array dot my map and basically it's enclosure and you know we can do whatever we like to do so here itself we can also do the th same thing so this is an item and it will return an integer and let's say we want to return item plus 10 and I'll just keep in a variable called sum array and print the sum array here so you can see now the sum array is going to print only that will have all the elements incremented by 10 so one is like 11 12 13 14 15 16 so this is the custom implementation or you can say your own implementation of the map function okay so that's it for the video i hope you guys learned something new here and in the next video, I will be doing a custom creating own filter function 
we do have a filter function in uh, higher order functions category and I will be creating a custom filter function for you in the next video so stay tuned and stay healthy stay safe currently don't go outside and best of luck thank you